Hello and welcome back. My name is Milo and I'm the technical product specialist here at ZSphere. And in our Axiom video today, we're going to be covering how to restore. Essentially, we're going to be covering how to restore from deleting files in Cloud Finder, how to restore a full account, and how to restore any single files. So we here we have already a couple of files that we're going to be looking at restoring. If we want to restore more than one file at a time, what we can do is we can just click uh, on this uh, tick box here, select all on this page, and then right next to it, go to action and restore. What we can do here is we can restore the item to another service if we have any other services available. And then we can select it to go to any other user in that Office 365 domain, as well as the original owner. You can also, if it's a OneDrive file, you can restore any permissions and send an email about the file being restored. In this folder here, we can edit this and change it to whatever name we want it to put. So for my example, I'm gonna put ZSphere. So that means that this email, these emails are gonna be found in an inbox folder called ZSphere Restore. And the same goes if you want to do it for uh, just the one file. So if we just open up this alert email, go to restore, and we can do the exact same. So if it's a OneDrive file, we can restore OneDrive permission and send an email about it. We can change this again to uh, ZSphere restore. And again, we can choose whatever user that we want on our Office 365 domain as well. To restore a user, we need to get to users. Inside here, we can obviously go maneuver through all the users we have and select which one we want to restore. So if I just select my user, click on restore, and here is going to give me the options that I need to restore everything that I need from my account. So we can select mail, calendar, contact, and one uh, OneDrive. We can also select what backup date we want to use as well. So I could use the beginning of the week for any particular reason, maybe. I can again change this to ZSphere, <coughs> ZSphere Restore. And again, I can choose my own account or anyone else's account on the Office 365 domain. This can come in handy if a new employees taken over from an ex-employee and instead of having to do that whole transition of sending all the singular files or having them access them in another way you can restore all the old users um, emails and uh, documents and send it over to this new employee and how to recover files from deleting them from within cloud finder so if we go down to recycling bin we've already seen this before here we've got files that have been here uh, waiting to be permanently deleted. We can select this, we can select all these files, get to action and undo delete. And it is as simple as that. If someone asks you to delete some files uh, because they don't need it for any GDPR purposes, uh, they will, you will delete them from within Cloud Finder and it will be 30 days before they are fully, fully permanently deleted. But if in those 30 days, someone comes back and asks for those files back, you can undo that and have them back into where they were originally from. So that is all for our video on how to restore in Cloud Finder. If you guys have any more questions whatsoever, do drop us a call on the number on the screen or do check out our website uh, for any more information. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.